What's up YouTube, DPD19 here, and we are back with another video. Today we got two packages here, and both of them, I should know what they are. One of them's a little different than normal, but let's get straight into it. Okay, probably should have brought scissors. So hold on, let me go get both real quick. Got the scissors. Being unprepared as usual. Okay. Let's get this going. There we go. We got two packs here, and one of them being limited edition five and a shonen jump pack. And I'll show you guys what those contain in a second. And then we also have one more package. Something I don't know if I want to get into or not, but we have some MetaZoo packs. So I'm going to see how they are. I might buy a box when it gets cheaper. I'm not sure yet, but it is an art set. Dropping it's not the best. Oh, cool, we got a card saver from it. Two card savers. Card saver ones. I've got the four packs. They definitely feel a little weird. I don't know how I feel about the packaging. But that's okay. We'll see about the cards, how they feel and everything. Get my first impression on MetaZoo. Let's start off with this limited edition pack. And I did not grab sleeves, so I have to do that after. So these come with the same five cards in all of them. We have XYZ, uh, Dragon Cannon, looks pretty good, good centering. Force Raider, Cloning, Silent Doom, I think. And Victory Dragon. So those are all pretty cool. If they're in good enough condition, I'll grade them. If not, I'll just keep them or maybe sell them. Uh, I just kind of bought it so I could have a little bit, get up to $100. So I could put it on a line of credit. Now we have Shonen Jump Anniversary Pack. Okay, cloning's in front. I figured, and I think, the more expensive cards in the back. Appears to be in decent condition. Cloning. Relief monster. And we have copycat. But centering's not terrible. And blast sphere. The back looks pretty good. Looks. Oh. That looks a little bit of damage or something there. So I don't know if I'd set off up there and there's a little dot down there. I don't know. I'll have to look at the conditions more closely. But something I figured I'd try opening and if I get a PSA 9 of it, cool. it make a little bit of money and the rest of the cards are free. But if not, that's what it is. I could just sell them as is, make break even. But here is the next part, is the MetaZoo packs, which I'm very curious. I'd love to see the hollow, see everything. So they open, very, very curious. So let's get into it. These feel very weird. Yeah, I can't really open them like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, I'll tell you that much. I haven't seen really any openings. This is the tear, but I don't really want to do that. So we're just going to do that. Snip at the top. I don't know where the rare slash hollows are. I don't know. Oh, we're that art. Okay. 
enigmatic feel, feel how these are. Feel a little matty. Oh, it's pretty cool though. Do we have catnap, fireball, Sam's EMF device, a funeral mountain terror shot, black cat, power up green, hollow is a reverse hollow bunny man. All right. I mean, it's pretty cool. Then we got a suburban, a dark aura, but they are. Pretty cool. I'm not too sure on the rarities. I give this as a verse oil. Normally hollow. Or what it is. I mean the quality seems to be pretty good. So first hollow. But our commons. Let's open this pack next. Hopefully I can open it a little better. <laughs> I would like to save the pack arts, but I don't know, cut off the top. I'm not really too interested in that. Well, we got a joint snake. That's uh, common or uncommon. Another fireball. Paralyze. Broom. Crossroads. Hoop snake. We got fog of war and... Ooh, bloody ruby. That's pretty cool. Got a hollow. You may fatigue this page at any time to generate two. I'm not sure if it's good, bad, expensive card. I don't know. I'm just kind of opening it to see how I like them. Centering is way off. Left to right. So I don't know about grading them, but. Got a hollow and a reverse hollow. Anytime I see black in the background, I just immediately think of hopefully it's a Mothman, but that's wishful thinking on my part but, oh no, it's I, I do like the feel of the cards i think this is something pretty cool i don't know i might I might buy a box might open a box might keep it sealed so in the future i don't know so that over there all right so we got a tripadero bat squatch that'd be cool to get in reverse if i got it a reverse gg bread bird yeah bird <laughs> Shadow People, Ice Spell, Power of Blue, Scattershot, and Beast of Busco. That's a pretty cool reverse. What was it? Two from the back. Okay. But that's that's a pretty cool looking card. Like, I love how every card seems like it's important. Something I definitely can dig with it. I'm not a fan of the pack wrappers. That's, that they'll need to hopefully upgrade that over time, but it is what it is. Kind of more like the Japanese pack with the slit where you can rip it down right over there, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. Alright, so we got Rump Diffusal, Haste, Snow Wacy, Giant Salamander, Protector Beam, and Field Monster, and ooh, I skipped one, Fire Trap, and Fresno Night Crawlers. Cool, so we got two hollows. And two reverses, and we got snowing and flame warrior. I'm not sure how to play the game, but uh, that's pretty good. I don't know what the ratio is with hollows to non hollows. Let me see. Information's there. No, it's there. All right, one in 30 cards are holographic, two in 30 are reverse holographic. Hold on, how many cards are per pack? 10. So one in three are hollow and two and three are reverse hollow. So I don't know, that's pretty good. We got three, we got two hollows and two reverse hollows. I think that's pretty good. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with the cards, sell them, keep them, buy more. I have no idea. But it's, I will say it's definitely fun to open, grab the pack wrappers real quick. But these, I don't know, I, I like it. Pack wrappers, like I said, I think could use a little work. They feel a little cheap, but over time maybe they'll upgrade it. I don't know. We'll see. And then the cards themselves, I mean, they're pretty cool. Uh, they might have to work on their own centering, especially, yeah. Centering left to right and up to down. I'll have to work on that. 
So I'm trying to see if I can find a well-centered car. That one's pretty well-centered. Uh, I know some collectors might grade them. I don't know what I'll do with mine. I'll look at the condition more in depth later, but I'm gonna go get these sleeved up and maybe, I don't know, see, see what I'm gonna do in the future with them. I might have more openings, might not. I'll see in the future. Worst case, I'll just buy a couple loose packs, see what I can pull. All right, so that should be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.